Being a celestial show for the ages, the planet Venus, the sun, and the earth were, as we said, aligned just so today. It was a spectacle that no person living today had ever seen. Here's ABC's Ned Potter. It is a precious, rare moment when Venus happens to pass right between the sun and the earth and appear as a tiny black disk against the sun's roiling surface. You could see it from Japan, from Egypt, from New York. Around the world, people looked up all at the same time, peering through protective glasses or shielded telescopes to see what the heavens offered. What did I see? Just a small dot across a very big circle. But obviously, it's the imagination that helps you. A transit of Venus is something that only happens twice a century as Venus and Earth circle the Sun in long, complex orbits. Since Venus is so small and so far away from us, today's alignment is extraordinary. The last time we had a transit of Venus, it was 1882, and uh, Chester Arthur was president, and they were building the Brooklyn Bridge. In the 1700s, the transit of Venus was crucial to astronomers, helping them calculate that the sun was 93 million miles away. Today, people just savored the sight. It's like a little bug on a light bulb. From Pretoria to Philadelphia, from Rome to Sydney, people said much the same thing. Oh, wow, that's fantastic. Venus will line up with the sun again on June 6, 2012. But if you miss that, it won't happen again until the year 2117. Ned Potter, ABC News, New York.